Hi everybody, today I will show you how to add search bar in Hero WordPress. So let's begin. Alright, so to add the search bar in the header, what we need to do, we have to install the plugin. So for that, we have to go inside add new plugin. And here we will need to search for Ivory search here. Okay, so we have to install this. Now click on activate. And along with this, we will also open up our website. Okay, so that we can see that we are having our search bar or not. Okay, so now I just need to refresh this. Perfect. Now let's click on skip here. And now we need to go inside our Avori search. And here you will be able to see search forms here. So we have the different search forms here that are already created as a template for us. So if you wanted to create your own form, you can also do this. So we're gonna create our own search form here. So for that, I just click on add new search form. All right. So first you need to give a name to your form. So that will be new search form. And in here, we have to configure the searchable content that I want to search with the help of this form. Okay. So first thing that we have is the post types. So if I just click here and you will be able to see here that we have selected all the things here. So we have the post, we have the pages, media, floating buttons. So if I just click here, you can see here we are having all of these options here. So if you want to disable any of these options from here that you don't want to have in your search, you can simply disable this from here. So I'm going to disable the floating buttons from here. And after that, we have the post, we have the pages and the media. So I'm going to keep all of these values and we also have the templates. Okay. So after that, if I just click on the post here, you can see here that whether I want to search all the posts or I only wanted to include the selected posts in the search. Okay. And also you can see this other option here. And after this, we have the pages. So in the pages, we have searched all pages. So if you wanted to include all pages in the search, you can do this. So if you only wanted to search the selected pages, you can simply select them from here. But I'm going to go here with all pages here. And after this, we have the media. So in the media, you only have a single option to search all media here. And the selected one is basically only limited for the pro version here. And after this, we have the extras. So in the extras, you can see here, we can search the post title, we can search the post content, we can search the post excerpt. And also you can see here, we have category, tag, title, and also the description. But right now we'll just keep it like this. Okay. So let's just close this and click on save form. And this will be our short code for this form. So if you wanted to use this short code, you can simply use this. Okay. So we also have the other options here. So we have the exclude. So in the exclude, as you can see here that we have the post, we have the pages, we have the media and the extra. So if you want to exclude anything from your search, you can simply do this from here. Okay. And after this, we have the design. So let's just right now click on the Ajax. And in the last, we're going to go into the design. So in the Ajax, if you want to enable the Ajax search, you can do this from here. And in the last, we have the options. So in the options, you can see this, we have the multiple options here. So we have the post per pages. We have the order search result. We have highlight search term. We have search all or any search term. So you can explore these options here. So right now we're going to go inside the design. We will simply click here on search form customizer. But before that, let's just click on save form again. Perfect. Now let's click on search form customizer. All right. So here you can see here that we have the search form style. So you have the three different style here. So if you want to go here with the first one, second one or the third one, you can simply select it from here. And after this, we have the text box placeholder. So if you want to change the placeholder text here, you can simply do this. And after this, we have the search button. So if you want to change the text of the search button, you can also do this. And after this, we have the text box background and text box text. And you can also see that we have the border and the button background and button text and the button border. So we have all of these customization options. So if you want to change the colors here, you can simply do this. So right now I'm going to simply change the placeholder text here. Okay. Right now you won't be able to see the search bar here, but you will be able to see this after this. Okay. So let's click on publish. Now we have to go back. All right. So the search form is basically ready. So now we have to place this. Okay. So how can we do this? We'll simply go inside the menu search and here you have to enable the option of primary menu here. So you can also see the other menus here that I have created, but I want to display it on the primary menu. Okay. So now what I will do, I'll just simply click on the save. And now I will simply go inside our website, refresh the page. 
and you will be able to see this search icon here so this is basically your search bar so if i just click on this you will be able to see search bar here but obviously i don't want to add this on this style so i'll just simply go back here so as you can see here that we have the menu search form style so right now by default the drop down is selected so i'm going to go here with the default value and here i would select the form that we have created which is new search form and let's just click on save here now if i just go back and refresh the page you will be able to see our search bar which is not into the drop down form here okay so let's just say if i just search for something so i'm going to write down hi here let's just click on the button and as you can see here this is the search result for our hi here so we have the hiking and the home and we also have the other results here as well all right so this is the search bar that will be added in your menu here okay the primary menu but let's say that if you wanted to add this onto the header separately and to the footer as well so for that what you need to do you simply go back and here you can see the option of the settings here so you simply click on this now in the settings you'll be able to see two options header search and the footer search okay so if you want to enable this on the header search it will be displayed separately from the menu so let's say that i want to add the header search here that will be the new search form now let's click on save and i will do the same for the footer as well so let's click here this would be also a new search form click on the save all right perfect so we have added our search bar on the header and the footer as well so now if i just go back to our website refresh the page you will be able to see the search bar here at the top before the menu and you'll also be able to see this on the footer size as well so this is how you can add this on the header side separately if you wanted to so if i just write down home here and search for this you will be able to see that it got us the home here in the search okay so let's say that if i wanted to search for the services it will search for the services all right so this is how we can create the search bar in header in wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel